Hello people folks, welcome to my channel, Security in Mind. We're gonna look at the hard room here on TryHackMe. And it's been a while since we did some TryHackMe. Um, I actually took a bit, big, big break from it because I kind of got tired of just doing the same thing over and over again. And I have probably the largest collection of TryHackMe rooms here on YouTube, which I'm also trying to create better thumbnails for. So it's gonna take a lot of time. Today we're going to hack the one called Daily Bugle. I know that I completed this in the past, but I never really recorded a room with it. I remember 10% of this, so it's going to be almost like black box again. Anyways, the IP address is up. Let's just go ahead and copy paste that into a document so we have it. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a casual, normal, in map scan, you know, and just put in in map just like that, run the scan. That is the easiest way to go ahead and see what's going on. Now, it, it doesn't really want to do anything, so I think this is because it's not really up. So we can go ahead and ping it, do another in map scan, and you will get that the port 22 and port 80 is up, which basically gonna tell me, okay, let's do a full port scan without just like that. Now you can also go ahead and run the nmap with more flags like the SC for standard scripts, for default scripts on the nmap uh, scripting engine. You can also go ahead and add on the SV flag, which is for version detection. And we do see we have a MySQL port exposed, uh, which did not show up initially. And I think I was just probably too fast. I didn't give it enough time to boot. Anyways, we do have a web server. So let's go ahead and pop it into a browser. And whenever that is loaded, and I think probably because this is a bit slow machine, the web server is also gonna be a bit slow, but we do know that we have something going on here on Pwn80. And if we wish to do it, we can go ahead and say, okay, so just do a normal uh, script and version detection just like that, you know, that is a way to do it. And we got a hit. And while this is running, we can see that we have a website called Daily Bugle, some login formula that got something here, you know, we can go ahead and, and log in. And we're gonna go ahead and try and find out which CMS system this is, uh, because it does look like a CMS system to me that created these kind of things. We can go ahead and use web if we want to do that. It does say it's Joomla. Other ways to find out what kind of CMS it is, is just to right click and page source, just like that and see, boom, there we have it. The meta information gave it away. This is Joomla. So that is also another way of doing it. Finding the version of Joomla is really easy. Actually, you're gonna go ahead to Google and say Joomla, uh, find version, I've been there. And I think the link right here is actually gonna tell us what to do. And the first one is say for Joomla websites over 1.6.0, go ahead and copy paste, blah, 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 this and the administrator. So now we also find out what the administrator URL is and we're gonna get this XML file open and we can see it's version 3.7.0. So go ahead and copy paste that version into a like that um, document and go ahead to Google now and just, if I can copy paste, there you go. And just, you know, exploit just like that. And you're gonna pick some exploit and I've seen, I've clicked on these before. Um, I'm gonna take the one uh, I think this one here, I think Joomla, I think I remember something like that. And Joomla is a script and exploit, a specific exploit for 3.7.0. You can go ahead and check the Joomla right there. Click raw and just take it. I say, I said raw. Did it come raw? Not raw, thank you. There we go. And just go into your document or your terminal. And we can see that we have the Standard script version detection done. No special thing going on on port 22, port 80. We do have some folders we shouldn't visit. 
uh, reminds me of normal Juno stuff, so I would just ignore that for now. And we also have these MySQL. So just um, open new tab and create a folder and we can call it daily, go into daily, w get this, not that, ul right there. So copy, go back, w get, paste it in, and then just run it, Python 3, Joom, blah, HTTP, slash tag tag, and then it's some IP address we have in the document. Uh, why so many open? There we have it. So gonna take that, copy that, and paste it there, and basically just press enter. I think, yeah, so it's running, and basically we, got the hash right there and you got the name of Jonah so we can take the hash just like there and again just go into like Jonah just like that and then paste it in um, then go to your folder uh, touch a file called hash nano into hash put that in and dollar uh, two y it's uh, bcrypt from experience so you can go ahead and go to google and say hash cat cats not cast um, I think we take the first one here actually um, we should have a some sort of table here somewhere let's just see hash cat hashes uh, I think that is the one. Yeah, and then say search for dollar two y. Mm, B crypt. Come on, B crypt, and we have a dollar two something. So that's a mode of thirty two hundred. So we could probably go in and say hash cat m. I I, I would like to say is not cast but cat. 3200 um, and then looks like it remembers. Yeah, you can see here that it remembers that it did something like this at some point. So just go ahead and write, I think it's hash and then user share word list. Right, I think that is the correct um, way of doing it. And I'm remembering wrong. Um, not sure how long this should take. Um, uh, probably a bit, it could take a bit, depending on how many hashes there is. So what we could do is just go ahead and check whether this hash cat was hash cat example, just see if we wrote the command correctly, any URL, and it's because there's so many tools and it's easy to forget the flags. So just to check. While it's running, it's never a bad idea. So it does say M value A, A. What is the A for? Not really sure. A zero. Well, as I say here, it says for above dictionary check perform using word list. Oh, wow. So we could probably go in here and say Tag A, and just say it's a word list. I think uh, probably that's going to be the one. So if it helps, I don't know. Um, we can also use John for this particular tag. Um, John would be a bit different, you know. It just go in daily, just like this daily, and write John hash. Basically, that would be it. You can also go ahead and and take. Uh, yeah, you know, format the bcrypt and then direct it to a correct file called hash, just like that. And then John would, you know, it, it, it already was hacked by John, you know, and that is tag tag show. And you would get the, let's just remove all this. 
and we're moving it, removing it, removing it, removing it. There we go. Tech Tech Show. And we get the, the Spider Man 123 password, which is also the one just be popping up whenever we did the um, the hashcat cracking. And this was just something I had lied, you know, lying around and already as, as a um, ha cracked one. So we have the password. You can use both. Uh, John, you can also just go ahead and write John and then hash and presenter. That would also be a way to go doing it, but it kind of remember the hashes, it's cracked, so that is why it just said yeah. So this is running, run, running, and I would probably just let's just leave it for now, but depending on the speed. So we did get access, so we got Spider-Man one, two, three. And what I think this is is going to the administrator panel and write Jonah and then pop it in there and log into Joomla. On Joomla, we can go to, I think it's extensions there and say templates. It's kind of the equivalent of going to a WordPress site and editing a template. I th think this one right here, the below one, click the, the title is the one and then go to index PHP. And here you can pop in a reverse shell pretty easy stuff. So reverse shell and go ahead and type PHP and just take the first one for Pentest Monkey. Um, usually the place to go and pick that one and say raw. Uh, there we go. I just copy paste all of it and paste it in. Scroll up, scroll down. <laughs> Let's just say 4433 uh, is fine. And my IP address on try hack me is this one here on ton zero. So go ahead and copy paste that. Start new cat listener while we're at it at 333. There we go. And just put the IP address in and say hocus pocus savey davy. And you know, I think we can just run it. And now it's um uh, we need to run the actual website, so there we go. And you see the website is actually hanging, going back and forth and back and forth. This one up here, which basically means we have a shell here, and it's a non interactive shell. You can go to the web server on var dot 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 html. I and then we have you know the, the website here, and we got something called configuration. So let's go ahead and cat that out. In the configuration file, you're gonna find something like the the stuff and the password, the secret that we have it, the con the password. And that's gonna be probably not for you root, but let's just for now save that password. And what I would go ahead and do now is to go ahead and say cd slash home and see what other users we have. We have something called Jameson. So let's try and switch to that user. And that is usually not a bad strategy it's pasting in the wrong password let's take the right password there you go and say ssj son so that's usually a a correct strategy just to try the particular user uh, who am i did the switch already okay so i'm jameson i have really bad shit right now so anyways we're jameson so yeah, as I was saying, it is correct to just check the actual users in the system and say, well, I can see users in the system. Just go to the home folder and ls that out and see what, what kind of home folders there are. A, an alternative is to go and cat out the passwd file and see what's going on. And you can see like, okay, so there is something called Jameson. Chromi, Chromi, doesn't look like a user, but it could be, but it's not. We have nothing else but root, so we should just probably go ahead and check out root. Different ways of privasking, and this is a hard machine. Ah, no. We'll probably go ahead and try, you know, sudo and suit first of all. So go ahead and check for sudo, suit agel, and that is saying, well, whatever stuff we can execute as root, and we have something called all no password yum, so <laughs> that's probably too easy. Go to GTFO bins. Pokus Pogus, and then go to yum, and say we have something on sudo, and on sudo we can run a command specialized RPM package or spawn interactive root shell 
by loading a custom plugin. And this looks like, and we should always read it, just not, never just copy paste it with, uh, unless you know it's a one line at very small things, then you can probably, you know, just copy paste it. But you can see, like, okay, so the variable, blah, 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 nothing crazy, no weird commands, importing this and that, looks like something Python related. So this would probably require us to have some sort of Python, I guess. But uh, it looks like we can just code paste it. So do that. And let's see if we're golden. Paste in, press enter. Hmm. Who am I? Who am I? And who am I? I am root. So, okay, so that's pretty easy. Um, I don't think the machine was intended to be hacked differently. I already have the answers here. Let's go ahead and check it out with the user flag, the root flag, the password, the version. Great. So that's the four questions we already answered. And basically that is a daily bugle. I wouldn't classify this as a half machine. It more reminds me of either a hard easy or a medium machine. Anyways, this was the, ba this was the daily bugle. And I I think this machine kind of represent what a normal pen testing machine usually re re will or can represent, you know, by having classic pen tester issues, you know, I mean, sorry, developer issues. Anyways, that's it for me today. I want to say if you enjoy these kind of videos where I just, you know, casually talk and do some hacking, please, you know, leave, let me know in the comment below, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to try and answer to as many of the different um, comments I get, and I usually reply pretty fast. Uh, if any wishes and stuff like that, also let me know, I will try and do my best. So, see you again online, have a really nice day.